Help support the companies that support our community. So the piece I'm going to use is a piece of maple burl and it is about just about a half an inch thick and three uh, two and three quarter by two and three quarter. So this is just a little piece of scrap I had. I'm going to use a Forstner bit to drill in for the magnet that's going to go on the back side of it. But the only reason I did this on the lathe is because the lighting and everything is we got everything set up here to film the rest of the ones I did. And I will show you those here in just a little bit. I did on the drill press. Drill press, it goes a lot faster. Just, just to let you know, you know, if you're going to do these, just do them on the drill press. It goes so much faster. So again, I'm using the off-center jig, but that is just because I wanted to do uh, a couple of them with some off-center cuts on it. This whole project can be done on a face plate with a waste block or a waste block in a chuck. Um, so you don't have to, you know have the jig or anything it's just I I'll show you those two at the at the end I did a off-center one so this is double-sided tape and it works fantastic <laughs> for little piece little projects like this pendants inlay pieces or the fridge magnets the hardest part of the whole project is getting the tape off of the other side <laughs> it's once I get it off there we go all right, then you just take your block, kind of line it up, you know, get it as, as centered as you can on there, and then just put some pressure on it. The tape is uh, pressure sensitive, so you can kind of move it around a little bit until you get it right, and then put some pressure on it, and it will hold it just fine. So I brought that tail stock up, pressed it on there, and I left that up for getting it true and, and then turning, you know, a majority of it. And this is, I do the same process if I'm doing pendants or inlay pieces. I put the double side tape on, bring the tail stock up, and get it all trued up first, and then pull that tail stock away. So I'm using a spindle gouge. The lathe speed is at 3000 RPMs, and I'm just shaping this. It's, uh, this whole project is probably five minutes, so craft season is on its way, and these everybody loves fridge magnets and this is a great way to use up scraps laying around the shop to use the larger 5 8 spindle gouge and then or a half inch spindle gouge and i switched over to the quarter so what you want to do if you're doing a fridge magnet is do a little re relief on the back side of it so that you can grab it off of the fridge and you don't have to slide it across it to get it off depending on what kind of magnet you use so just, just make a little, little relief on the back side of it, and then go ahead and clean up the front of it. So this one here, I just kind of domed it over. Um, it's a beautiful piece of maple burl, so it is going to stand on its own. You don't really even need to decorate it. After I got that done, pulled the tailstock away, and then used the number one hauler to clean up that little top up little part up there on top and then just started sanding it. I went ahead and ran through two grits, 180 and 240 dry, just to get it cleaned up, make sure everything looked good. And then I switched over and used the walnut oil on it. So if you did have a piece of wood that was a little bit plain, there's a lot of things you can do to it um, to still make a nice piece. You can do some texturing on it, um, some uh, dyes work really well they look nice you could do some uh, some off-center turning on it too that would really really spruce it up but this one is just a beautiful piece just put a little bit of walnut oil on it and it is, really makes it makes it pop I ran through 
all the way up to 600 with the walnut oil and I was done. Here's another one I have and this one I colored in the lines and then just put a little bit of walnut oil but it's you can create a nice little pattern on these two. The double sided tape works fantastic for stuff like this. It just a little bit of pressure it comes off at the end. It is great for doing small stuff like this. There we go. So craft season is right around the corner and little things like this sell really well. Uh, we all have scraps in the shop that we can't get rid of and I have a whole barrel full of them I've had for years because they're just too pretty to throw away but they're small little pieces like this they make great little inlay pieces or pendants or French magnets so as far as the magnet goes I bought some on Amazon I'm trying to find a good source for them if anybody knows of a good source for for the good you know nice strong magnets uh, let me know in the comments below but you can even buy them at you know at uh, the home stores or hobby stores have have the the magnets you can hot glue them on double-sided tape um, a lot of them have adhesive already on them which works really well too for something like this but this is a beautiful piece of wood so it's just you know it kind of speaks for itself but here are some other ones i did just kind of you know, a little bit of decoration on them. The one of them I did with the off-center jig, that's the whole reason I set it up like that. But easily done on a face plate or a waste block in a, in a chuck. And you can do the same thing with these. And they're literally five minutes. I even dyed one of them. So it's, you know, it just a little bit, of something a little bit different. Put a little display up at your booth, you know, 10, 12 bucks they will sell really well. All right, hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you next time. Take care.